Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the market for the most part held above the 2423 high volume node. And at this point hitting into the open, the market is already in breakout mode above the recent highs. So right off the open, we know that the buy side is dominant and in control. Now, the main question today is going to be whether this is going to be a sustained breakout. So if the buyers are going to continue to maintain control, we want to see the market holding above yesterday's high of 27 quarter and Monday's high of 2430. As long as buyers can hold ES above that area, then it tells us that the breakout is still intact. And from there, we can go up and test the 35 to 37 initial resistance and then even head higher into the 40 half high from June 29th. And if there is a lot of upside momentum and above average volume, then perhaps we even go a bit higher than that. But the high probability target today is 35 to 37, followed by 40 half. Now the challenge is that the market is already set to open very close to the 35 to 37 resistance. And since so much of the upside move has already played out in the overnight session, it makes it very difficult to really capitalize on the long side, especially because if the buyers are going to continue to be in control, then you want to see the market holding above 27 quarter and 2430. So that's going to make it challenging to really capture the long side and we'll probably have to wait for the market to establish a bit of a range in real time so that we have something that we can lean on in terms of stop placement or if the market provides a pullback while the underlying internals continue to be bullish, that could be another way that we could get on board on the long side, targeting a move into 35 to 37 and 40 half. So those are the ideas on the long side. Now on the short side, we're going to have to be careful and exercise caution because the market is in breakout mode and we may not get a big reversal off of 35 to 37. It may just end up being a small reaction where sell side steps in at 35, 37, and then the market builds another small intraday balance area. And then as long as we are still seeing broad market strength and sustained upside momentum with the tick holding above zero, then eventually we can even take out 35 to 37. So that is something that we'll have to assess in real time. But given that the buy side is dominant today, we are gonna have to be more careful on the short side but because ES is set to open at a fairly high price, even the long side is actually going to be challenging today. So today might end up being a day where no ideal trade opportunity is actually available to us. And that's just the nature of trading. You're not going to get an ideal setup every single day. So today, given where the market's opening, we know the buyers are in control. We know that we can head up into 35, 37, 40 half maybe higher if there's sufficient volume and momentum, but the market is set to open at too high of a price to hop on board at this point. The reward to risk is very questionable up here, so it's gonna be better to wait for the market to kind of find its footing, perhaps establish another intraday range, or wait for the market to pull back towards the 24, 27 quarter, 24, 30 area, but while still maintaining the underlying strength and momentum because breakout trades are inherently momentum trades. So if in real time, we notice that there's simply no upside momentum or we start seeing downside momentum, then of course, this breakout gets put into question and that could potentially provide a shorting opportunity. But that's a very specific case. And unless we see very clear cut signs of a failed breakout attempt, our focus should be on the long side, but only at a price where we have good reward to risk. And if the market never provides us that opportunity where we have high reward to risk, high expectancy, then you're better off staying out of the market and waiting for that next ideal setup rather than chasing and getting involved at poor location where the reward to risk really doesn't justify taking the trade. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see if the buy side can maintain the strength that we've seen in the overnight session. Let's see if this breakout attempt turns into a bigger move to the upside and we'll take it from there.